Oh. Have you ever got to the end? The end of your round? The end of possible abnormal fat? Have you ever got to that place where you're exhausted? You feel weak, dizzy, and very hungry? That has been happening to my husband and I together. And um, the other day he was using my ribs as a guitar, pretending like they were guitar strings. They are sticking out so much. And my lower tummy needs some work. And the, you know, my butt needs a little bit of uh, work. But I'm telling you what, my husband and I are very thin <laughs> in some parts. I mean, you can't even really see on my face, but in person, my face is really, really thin. <laughs> and so I look, I have this long, narrow face now. And um, so my husband and I stopped on Friday. So today is day, is it Friday? Yeah, fr Friday was our LIW. So today was, is our uh, third day, I believe, second or third day, anyways. Um, one, two, three. Third day of, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Maybe, yeah, Friday is, was our LIW. So my LIW is 158, and that sounds like a lot, but I am five foot nine, but I'm over five foot nine. And when I heard Robin with Weight Loss Apocalypse talk about that she was 5'9ish and 155, I was like, okay, I feel horrible. I didn't feel this way my first round. I had one day of feeling really horrible, but I did not feel hungry. I did not feel uh, weak like this. I did not feel dizzy. So, when my husband and I are both experiencing the same thing and we're both being called skinny by many people and I'm wearing a size 8, we're just feeling like, boy, I think we had a very sedentary life. So therefore, we, we have some uh, lack of muscle, <laughs> lack of muscle in uh, some areas of our body. So that's where we're at. and. Um, it's, it's like textbook or manuscript, if you will, perfect. I mean, it is, it is exactly what uh, Simeon says towards the end. When you don't have any more or much more abnormal fat, you start feeling hungry, you start feeling weak. And um, I really wanted to get down to 148, but I feel like my body is saying that is not a healthy weight for you and um, my collarbones are sticking out my neck is very very thin and um, I just don't think it's really that beautiful to be too thin so uh, for my body structure I think I'm done folks <laughs> so um, my husband and I started out, uh, working out on Saturday we actually did relay for life and uh, walked to the track for an hour and uh, this morning we uh, worked out in our rec room, which we have a couple of pieces of equipment and we have some weights and we have an ab thing. So uh, that felt really good. And it felt like, yeah, we need to do that. We have a pull-up bar. Um, so, so that was really fun. It's been very bonding for my husband and I to be on this journey together because we are We've never done that much together this way. We hiked and camped, but to do something this long and to have such a life change, this has been huge for us as a couple, and it's been very good for our marriage. Not that our marriage was bad or anything. I don't think it was, but just, uh, you know, we bond with each other virtually. So you can imagine a couple doing this together and both losing over 40 pounds. Uh, he is released 47, I released 40.8. So uh, that's where it's at for us. And thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you guys. And this has been such a 
life-changing journey such a good time and I feel like I feel like yeah, I had friends for life and uh, so we'll keep in touch we'll check in a lot and uh, hope to so show you uh, our six packs soon <laughs> take care guys bye